What is going on guys, Ewan here and today we'll just be bringing you something that will different it will be wager match, sharpshooter and high roller and it's the first episode of a four part series we'll be covering all different, all the four different types of wager match and it'll be basically me giving tips about the game mode and what you can try and do to get better and basically helping you win card points in Sharpshoot, if you don't already know, it is randomly generated guns every 45 seconds for 5 minutes, I think it is. And all everybody uses the gun that has been generated. It's just a random gun every 45 seconds. The very first gun I got was the M72 Law, which is not a very really good gun. Uh, just have to play more defensive with that, but then. Um, it's just like this, Scorpion Suppressor, you cannot camp with a Scorpion, the range, especially if a Suppressor, the range on this is about 10 feet at most, uh, so you must be running about with this gun, and you can't wait for people to come to you, so we've all got to be on the move with a gun like that, and basically that's one tip, is if you are good with a certain gun, and you feel you can get lots of kills, like if you feel a good AK for you and it appears in the in the roll, you should use that um, use that gun attackingly, offensively. And don't wait for people to come to you, but instead go to them. So you're looking for kills. But then if a gun comes up that you're not confident with, say you don't feel you've got a good aim and an M60 appears, it doesn't have grip on it or anything it will aid your aiming. You should be playing more defensively, trying to get behind a cover, a car, a wall, something you can pop around that will allow you to shoot the players as they run out, as they're not as tactical as you really, if they're running about with a light machine gun, you know you've got the advantage over them because you are sitting waiting for them to come to you. And some people say camping, I'm never camping, never camper. I'm not, I refuse to camp. In wager match, it's like game battles really. You, If you say to someone, you're not going to camp, you will get laughed at really because camping is a part of this. Because you cannot expect to run about the place with a Grim Reaper, for example. If you run about the place with a Grim Reaper, you're going to A, blow yourself up and B, get hardly any kills. So it's just... It's logic to play defensive with a gun like that, but if you are confident enough with a gun, you should feel free to just be more attacking, go to the players, and just try and get the kills instead of waiting for kills to come to you. Uh, second tip will be never to quit. That is a tip that will cover all wager matches. Never to quit, even if you're in high roller, anti up, or whatever the middle one is, I can't remember what it's called now. Um, once the game starts and just Bonus before acquired. the game starts in the pre-game lobby, your money is locked in, no matter what one you're playing. Money's locked in, so if you're playing high roller just before the game, the game will take off 10,000 card points from you, and you cannot get that back unless you get first second third place or you get refunded by, by Treyarch because of host problems or whatever it is they do that for and there's no point in quitting it doesn't benefit you at all because your money is gone it's lost already and in a game like sharpshooter you've got the you've got all your perks and the time to score and if you go on a good streak it wouldn't take long for you to get into first place or in the money at least and also the sharpshooter round if, you, if no one knows what that is it's uh, the last 45 seconds of wager of sharpshooter, there'll be a for that gun for the last 45 seconds, every kill will be worth double what it is normally. So a normal kill will be worth 200 points instead of 100. But if you have the times to score, it'll actually be worth 400. So it'll take about three or four kills if you are right at the bottom of the leaderboard, it'll bring you right back up. A good example of this is right here. This is the last round, I'm 4th place, a good wee bit behind the last folk, and then I can get the time to score with 400 points per kill. I go from 4th to 2nd to 1st and 2 kills, just like that, and I'm in the money. And if this is for a gold gun, 
or whatever it is you're going for with, your, with all your card points, I, it can change in a matter of seconds really, depending on what round it is, anything like that. So you don't quit your game because it's not going to benefit you at all really. That basically wraps up this sharpshooter tips. I can do it again if you want. If you want me to cover it again, you should leave it in the comments. And here that was just me winning my 20,000 card points. Like someone must have left or something because I didn't get 30,000, but I know I wasn't really complaining. Uh, that just basically concludes it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the commentary today. Hope you learned a few things about it. And peace out.